Hi there and welcome to the channel. I hope everyone is keeping uh, safe and well, especially within these crazy times at the moment. As we all know, um, majority of the world is um, in lockdown, which uh, means our movements are restricted. Um, something that we just have to adhere to and do to keep ourselves safe and those around us. Um, just goes without saying, that's what we need to do. Uh, we can get out for little walks and stuff like that, but um, today we thought we'd just come out in the garden, keep ourselves safe and cook some food. We're uh, going to fire up the firebox and just sit and chill out and, and do something nice to eat yeah. and enjoy a brew. Definitely. Uh, but yeah, what we've got today to cook, we've got some um, large mushrooms. Macy's looking at these with uh, great interest. <laughs> some, some red onion, you can't eat onion. We've got a little bit of garlic. We've got a little bit of venison. And we've got some Stilton cheese. And what we're going to do, I think I may have already said, because um, I have a habit of repeating myself, uh, is fire up the firebox and we'll cook this scrum and we'll see how it turns out, won't we? Uh, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll get that sorted out now. We'll go and prep this, we'll fire up the firebox and we'll bring you back along with us. Shall we go and do that, Mercy? Huh? How are we then? Right, we're going to put the pan on, get some heat into the pan. There we go. I think it's not getting the handle. Isn't it? Yeah. That's better, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll get some heat into the pan. A little bit of oil. We're using the uh, one half of the Ridge Monkey um, for this. So we'll uh, get a little bit of oil in there. Do you want to put the onions in there? Just the onions for the time being. sound doesn't get much better than that does it sizzling something sizzling on a fire we'll cook them off for a few minutes before we put the mushrooms and the garlic in using rapeseed oil because it's a uh, British cold pressed and it has quite a um, can reach a quite a high heat without it smoking it's pretty nice stuff as well, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. Smelling lovely already. It smells lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. We'll let these cook for a little longer before we get these mushrooms put on. Macy's waiting for something. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Just a minute ago, there's a bird there in the background, and the way it's chirping sounds like my, our kids. Saying, I don't know, I don't know, I don't, doesn't it? Yeah. Don't know if the camera's picking that up. Oh, yeah, I can hear it now. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Sounds like the kids, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. They're crying off nice, aren't they? Yeah, are you ready for the mushrooms? Yeah, you can put them in now. Okay. I'm going to put these mushrooms in. Cook them off for a bit and then put the garlic in there. Just move that. Yeah, yeah. Just put a little bit more oil on. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Now we'll just cook these off for a little bit. Oh shit. Language. <laughs> you need enough that oil over. I've done it. The smell coming from here is amazing, and that's before we get any garlic or anything else in here. Bacon and sugar and fried. No, it's awesome, isn't it? These have been cooking now for a few minutes and uh, cooking now nicely. Do you reckon that's garlic? Yeah, maybe that's garlic. Yeah. Just putting a couple of cloves of garlic in there. Don't waste not, get it all. <laughs> Love garlic. Beautiful stuff. Just 
Does anyone reckon Macy's waiting on something? <laughs> no, not for you. You might get a little bit of venison. If you're lucky. <laughs> oh god, that smell. That smell is unreal. <laughs> I wish you could smell Thursday. this. Yeah, I really do wish you could smell this. As I was saying earlier, we can't really get out, as we all know, for the for what reasons. Um, but it's just nice to get outside and cook outside. You can't beat food cooked outside. And something yummy like this is just delicious. What I'm going to do now is let these cook for a little longer and just put in a little bit of butter and we'll quickly season them with a little bit of pepper we'll put much in just a little bit put a little bit of pepper in there and we've got some um, frozen parsley so we'll add Excuse me, hands. I have washed them. I will just cook them off for a few more minutes, and then we'll get the uh, venison on. Basic move your tail. You're going to burn it. We've added a tiny little bit of butter to the pan as well. And what we're going to do? We're going to lift these off, cover them with some foil, and set them aside. And we'll uh, get the pan on for the venison. Looks delicious, that doesn't it? Yeah. Oh. It's good, isn't it? Get outside. Yeah, it's classy, isn't it? Yeah. Right, we'll lift these off. Get them covered. Let that go. Perfect. Put them to one side. Get the other pan. Guess we'll put more wood put in here, right? more sticks in there. There we go. We'll let that pan get really hot and we'll uh, get the venison on it. Right, the pan's been on a few minutes and Gary's going to put the venison on now. Yeah, as Claire said, the pan's been on a good few minutes now on the heat, so it's getting really hot. We've got two nice bits of, bits of venison here, quite a thick piece and that piece, we'll put the thick piece on first. I've oiled the meat and not the pan. I'll give that a minute before I put this one on her. Put that aside. It's hygiene important. You want to look after that Macy? Just keep it there for now. <laughs> <laughs> that sizzling sounds absolutely amazing. Isn't it? Yeah. I'll get the other piece on it, I think that'll be good. Just are you ready for this? <laughs> Just listen to that. <laughs> right. Give me hands away. I'll go get rid of this cloth. And we'll uh, give this a few minutes. Uh, we don't want it too long because uh, we want it just cooked, hopefully, to perfection. But we'll see how it goes. Rare. Yeah, rare. <laughs> well this has had a few minutes on that side, we'll get that turned over. Oh my, look at that colour. I don't know if the camera is picking that up, but the colour in that is something else. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll bring it over to the camera so you can have a quick look. Uh, look at that, how does that look? Looks fantastic, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. No flashing. <laughs> Give that a few minutes on this side. That piece will be cooked first, so we'll take that off shortly and let it rest. Oh, 
Oh, Missy is in shot, I think. I think we can just see her here. She's sat there waiting in anticipation, aren't you? In the hope you're going to get some of this. <laughs> I've seen her face. I think she's going to... Right, we'll carry on cooking this for a little longer. That piece there is nice and rare. Mm. That piece needs a good bit longer. It's quite a bit thicker. Mm. That isn't going to be too far away, that one. Well, this first piece, the thinner piece, feels like it's uh, cooked. So we lift that off and we'll let that rest with the onions and the mushrooms. Claire's just going to cover that back up with some more foil. And we'll turn this piece over. I'll put colour on that. This piece doesn't feel like it's too far away, but we'll give that a few more minutes. Feels lovely that. Get a bit more wood in there. Right, this piece here has had a, a num another minute or so, and we'll just check that and feel that. That feels pretty good. That's up, uh, almost cooked. Oh, that's amazing. No, I'm not licking your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to go and wash my hands because I've had them in my mouth. And uh, whilst this has another minute, This uh, definitely feels like it's cooked enough now. Um, we don't like our red meat cooked too much. We like it re quite yeah. rare, don't we? Yeah, we do. So nice. we'll, uh, we'll plate this up now. We'll uh, lift this off because we don't want it cooking too much. And we'll get plated up. We'll get this uh, dished out. Just put that bit of venison there for now. Oh. These mushrooms. I'll tell you what, a meal. I'll come round here. <laughs> you look like you're uh, nervous about something. <laughs> Pan gets a bit hot, mate. Oh, sorry, darling. <laughs> Claire's worried in case I burn it. Side. We'll take these bits of venison. We all stuck a bit there. Put that one there, like so. And that one there, like so. And we've got one more thing to add to that. A couple of nice bits of stilton. Put that on there, like so. There we go. <laughs> Spin that round that way. What do you think of that? That looks absolutely awesome. What we do now, we'll slice into it and uh, we'll take a look, see what it looks like, and we'll bring you along while we're, while we're tucking into it. I'm absolutely looking forward to this. My mouth's watering like mad, is it you? Yeah, get on with it. Right, we'll get on with this just now. <laughs> now for the taste test. Oh, you need a, you need a fork. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now for, to see what this is like. Nice bit of stilton, and a lovely bit of venison. I was going to say a nice bit of squirrel. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> that is absolutely amazing. Look how beautiful that that looks. 
I would dare say that'd be a little bit rarer than that. But we'll uh, cut into that just now and have a look. What do you think? beautiful right we're gonna eat this and we'll show you what this looks like when we cut it let's one. just have a little look actually how rare that bit is that is uh that's good perfect for me how was that for you claire a little too rare it's delicious is that a little too rare or is that just about right for you i might have to try it and see <laughs> you don't get a bit <laughs> oh. um, i don't know it's a little bit that bit that is absolutely amazing nice bit of colour around the outside some nice caramelisation that's delicious right we're gonna eat this and enjoy it right I must say that was absolutely delicious delicious <laughs> that was absolutely beautiful um cook absolutely perfect um we hope you've uh, enjoyed joining us today in our garden as i said earlier it, with us all being in lockdown we are limited to what we can do so we just thought um we'd bring you along and we'd cook something um on the firebox out here um that's a video it, it's something that we've been planning for a while doing that and we hope to do it out in the woods didn't we yeah but uh, obviously that's not going to happen, we, we can't do that, so hence being in the garden. Um, and we'd just like to end the video by saying thank you very much for joining us once again. It's something that we do really, really appreciate, don't we? Yeah, definitely. It just like, encourages people to get out, doesn't it, even in the garden? Yeah, yeah. And being out in that open space at the moment is probably more important to us than, uh, than it's ever been. And I think once this is over and we can, we've can, we got that freedom to do as we please again, I think it's something that um, I think we will, won't will be taken for granted mm -hmm. for a long time. Appreciate it more. Yeah, I think we'll appreciate it more. Um, and all we'd like to say to, to, you, to everyone is um, stay safe. And we mean that from the bottoms of our heart. We really do, don't we? Yeah. Um, and again thank you very much for supporting us and coming along and joining us on this video and our other videos if you're new around here check out our the rest of our videos and we hope you enjoy and uh, we're gonna end the video here and say bye for now stay safe stay safe <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> oh, <they're the> <laughs>